Well, um, every every individual is is unique. Everybody presents with a different constellation of uh, personality traits and events from their life history. So I think the first thing that that's important to attend to is is establishing that rapport and getting to know the individual. So even if things get rocky, they have come to know you as someone they can trust who's there to serve their best interest. So I think good, um, uh, I don't know if we want to say crisis uh, intervention or, or, or um, supporting someone going through a really difficult situation is building a solid foundation on smooth waters. That's step number one. Uh, in the moment, I tend to trust the medicine. I think being as non-interventionist as possible and attending to safety and comfort is really uh, primary in a treatment session. Are there basic needs for uh, you know, bodily comfort and safety met? And if so, be prepared to listen deeply to what they're asking from the people facilitating for them. Do they want a hand to hold? Do they want you just to listen? I think a common error is to think that you need to race in and do some sort of kind of heavy handed facilitation because you're the expert or you're the clinician. Oftentimes, and I, and I come to trust this more and more over the years, the individual knows on a deep level that higher self knows where they need to go and responding to any sort of support they're requesting is helpful. There's some basic common sense things, making sure people don't leave the room or do anything that harms themselves, but um, being a, remaining calm, uh, I'd say the most important skill to learn is how to stay grounded as the clinician in those moments so that you don't become unraveled when they do. Making sure you can feel your feet on the ground, check in with your breath, and if you can remain a calming, anchoring presence in the room, that's going to go a long way. So even if they're sort of flying around up here, if they can sense a connection to you as someone who's grounded and tethered to the room, that goes a long way to attending to their safety. And also just keeping that mindset that something difficult isn't necessarily bad or to be avoided because so many people report their most challenging or even frightening uh, altered state experiences are often the most valuable. That was one of the most scary things I've ever been through, but it's also one of the most valuable. Um, so just remembering that even though they may appear to be having a, a, a bumpy ride, something necessary may be transpiring. And if you just keep them safe in the room and encourage them to go through it rather than trying to uh, recoil or run away or stop the process, helping them move forward, um, that usually gets you where you want to be eventually. Yeah, no, that, uh, that's that.